Hey everyone and welcome to a new video on Byte of Geek. Today well, I'm taking a look at the X570i Pro Wi-Fi from Aorus. Uh, yes, it's a mini ITX motherboard and this is a part of my new build. Let's check it out. Okay, so this is the X570i uh, Pro Wi-Fi. Uh, if you've never seen a mini ITX board uh, before, this might come as a bit of a shock in terms of size. Most people uh, kind of go with uh, ATX uh, motherboards, but um, yeah, so this obviously this isn't you know latest and greatest. This board's been out a little while. However, you know, it is uh, quite the feature packed board for the money really. Um, this was about £140, which you know you would normally pay that for a, uh, a an x570 you know kind of like a, a, a low to mid-range x570 atx board itx boards mini itx boards uh, do come at quite the premium uh, kind of like the aces brands of the world and things like that you know they are well into the 200 pounds uh, mark for very little uh, additional features uh, over what this board actually has. Anyway, so what we're going to do, we're going to have a look inside uh, what you get in the box and uh, we will take a look at the board itself uh, just so you can see actually, you know, the, the kind of features that you will actually get on the board. So just get the box open. So straight away we've got the board uh, on the top. So we'll just put that to one side for the moment. Uh, so in terms of goodies in the box, so I think, uh, you know, clearly, you know, compared to, as I say, things like uh, Asus and stuff like that, you're not going to get a ton of extras here. But then, you know, if you're upgrading a system, uh, you've probably already got a lot of these these things anyway. So one of the things we've got here, we've got an RGB um, uh, extension cable. So if you're a fan of... Uh, lighting up your system, then you've got a nice little extension cable for it there. Um, you get your Wi-Fi antenna uh, with this as well. So uh, a little bit different to kind of the, um, you know, the ones that you, you normally just screw into the, uh, into the back. Uh, we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about the Wi-Fi in a bit. Uh, you get um, the obligatory uh, case badge sticker. And then uh, so we get so we get a couple of uh, SATA cables. So we get a right-angled one, and we get some uh, straight uh, straight through one as well. Uh, would have been nice to have got two right-angled ones, but not the end of the world. Um, what else have we got here? So we also get um, a little thermal pad for your M.2 uh, NVMe drive. So quite handy to have that uh, get your instruction manual with the uh, does anybody actually use CDs anymore um, you know uh, never mind the instruction manual with your drivers and everything and uh, yeah some multilingual installation guides that showing you how to install everything so so that's the content of the box as I say you know for the for the price that you're paying not a huge amount in there it's good to get some of those little uh, little goodies in there but you know ultimately you know it is the board that you're paying for and um, you know that's the the important bit so first impressions uh, this board is is actually quite a nice weight uh, you know there's uh, it's quite a heavy board there's um, you know, obviously a lot of stuff packed onto this board but we will uh, we'll get this open so we can get a better better look at this So hopefully you guys can see that on the camera. Uh, quite a nice, uh, you know, nice black design. If, you know, if you've uh, watched my uh, my video on the MSI B550 A Pro motherboard, which was an ATX one, uh, you see, you know, very similar kind of design. You know, black with some silver, uh, silvery grey accents here and there. So just before we look at the overall uh, top, top of the board, we'll to just take a look at the I.O. 
on the back. Um, obviously, as you can see, it, you know, it is a built-in IO shield. Um, you don't get that separate within the box. Um, and, you know, if you're used to coming from uh, something like an ATX or micro ATX, something like that, uh, you know, you'll notice that there's there's probably less ports on the back here. You know, not the end of the world. These, these mini ITX are for specific builds, I guess. Just starting over on the right hand side, so we've got line in, line out, and a mic port. So normally, you know, you might be used to seeing six uh, ports here, maybe with um, you know an optical uh, uh, port as well. You know, no such look with that. You've got those three there. You've got two Wi-Fi uh, antenna connectors there, uh, Ethernet port. Now, um, obviously, given the price of this. This is uh, a gigabit Ethernet. So the the Wi-Fi itself is Wi-Fi 6. So, you know, I think, you know, if you think some of the scenarios that this board is being used for, HTPC uh, or something like that, or, you know, some kind of media service on like that, Wi-Fi 6 is, is probably pretty good. Um, you know, you, you may not have the ability to run an Ethernet cable to where this... Uh, you know might be situated so um you know but if you need a 2.5 gig uh, LAN port maybe look at one of the more expensive boards on the market um you have a uh, type a uh, usb 3.1 you've got a type c usb 3.1 as well uh, you've got your um, bios flash button you've got a usb uh, 3.0 you've got um, two of those, one of which is the BIOS uh, uh, USB as well, so you've got a couple there, and then you've got a couple more USB 3.0 on there as well. And then kind of you know, just going along with that home um, theatre PC type of thing, you, you know, you've got two HDMI's uh, uh, ports here, and you've got a display port as well. So the HDMI's are 2.0, but they are um, HTCP 2.2. So, um, you know, should be, should be good for, uh, you know, a home theatre PC um, build if you're going to use it for that. So just taking a top down look at the board, obviously nice and compact. Uh, you know, you're not going to get a ton of connectors on this, but, um, you know, you've probably got enough here for pretty much most builds. Uh, you know, if you want more than this, it's probably, you know, go off to, um, you, you know, kind of like an ATX or a micro ATX, something like that. Um, but you know, let's start down the side here. So we've got our CPU um, fan connector over here. Obviously, we've got a 12 volt uh, connector as well. Um, and then pretty bare down the side, to be honest with you. You know, I think they probably could have got another connector in there, uh, in the in the space there. Um, you've got your DDR4 um, RAM slots. So yes, you know, you are only limited to two. That's what you get on, on pretty much every ITX platform. Um, but, uh, you know, you, you should easily get, you know, 64 gig, uh, in there. Um, you've got your front panel connector here. So quite nicely located at the front of the board and you've got a speaker connector as well. And then you've got four SATA connectors. So obviously with this being aimed at kind of like, you know, a smaller case unit, you know, you're probably not going to really have more than four or a need for more than four uh, SATA uh, drives there. Um, you've got your front mounted USB 3 connector here and you've got your LED connector here and you've got another front mounted USB uh, uh, connector here as well. And then you've got a system fan header here now. One thing to point out, this board does not have a front mounted uh, USB-C connector on it. Um, it's probably one of the few boards that doesn't have that. So if that is important to you, uh, there are other boards on the market which do have that. I think it's a bit disappointing from that point of view that it doesn't have that connector, given that you know there's more and more cases that have uh, a front USB-C on them nowadays. Um, so you've got just in here quite an awkward little spot here. You've got an LED connector here. So you've got a couple of connectors for uh, LED uh, and then your M.2 drives are going in underneath uh, this block here. Um, what else have we got? 
Uh, you've got your uh, front uh, audio headers uh, are down here at the back, uh, and you've got TPM uh, um, connector there as well. I mean, there's there's not much else on the board, to be honest with you. That is about it. So just to summarize, we've got two uh, system fan headers and one CPU fan header. That That is probably, for some people, not going to be enough. Um, yeah, some people like to fill out their cases with fans, uh, so you're probably going to end up using some kind of extension cable or splitter cable to get more uh, fan headers there. Um, but overall, you know, nice compact uh, board. Um, you know, obviously very much geared towards the price point uh, that it's retailing for. Um, just on the on the base of the board, we we'll just have a quick look at that again. So obviously we've got the uh, backplate for the uh, the the CP, uh, you know the mounting bracket for your CPU and then you've got this uh, quite substantial um, you know, metal plate that goes all the way around on there as well so not something I'd seen on on on, on boards before you know that extra you know that does add a little bit of weight onto that pretty decent board you know it feels like there is more uh, more to it than probably there is so just in terms of CPUs, so obviously all current AM4 based CPUs, including those that um, you know support Vega graphics, so kind of like the uh, you know the second generation ones. Uh, memory wise, DDR4 up to 3200 megahertz, and it will support up to 64 gigabytes uh, dual channel memory architecture, and it has XMP profiles as well. Uh, in terms of your, your display ports, as I, as I say, so you've got a display port for um, 4K at 60 hertz, and um, you know that will support uh, 1.2 as well, and your two HDMI ports at 4K uh, at 60 hertz as well, um, and and they also have HDR on them as well. So really good board option, um, you know, if you're doing, as I say, your home theater PC, it will also support three displays at one time. Again, you know, really, really nice from that point of view. Uh, you know, audio side of things. So it's using a Realtek uh, ALC uh, twelve twenty uh, VB. So um, you know, which can be configured up to seven point one uh, audio. You know, if you want to uh, want to have that. Um, and then the Wi-Fi, as I say, it's a Wi-Fi six. It's the AX two hundred. Uh, has Bluetooth five on it as well. And in terms of PCIe slot, it is 4.0 x16. For the price, a pretty decent board, I would say. You know, certainly for an x570 base board, uh, you know, good layout, everything sensibly placed. Uh, you know, some some good features on this. Yes, it's missing the Type C uh, front-mounted header, and also a 2.5 gig Ethernet port. But you know, not deal breakers. And obviously, you know, if you want those, you can uh, go and pay. The 200 pounds plus for a board that's going to uh, have, have those features on it um but yeah you know i think this uh is is pretty pretty well laid out and obviously you know going to be a relatively easy board to work with in you know what is ultimately going into a very small case but there you go guys that is the x570i pro wi-fi from aorus a mini itx motherboard that's going to form part of my new build that i will be doing uh, shortly on the channel so make sure you're subscribed to see that but let me know your thoughts down below in the comments uh, you know I fully appreciate uh, you know we have a whole new platform coming out but that's not where I'm wanting to go at the moment you know this is kind of you know I want to kind of like downsize my setup a little bit and this is uh, perfectly fine for me so you know but I'm sure plenty of you will have something to say about that um, but if you've enjoyed this video uh, then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel uh, but as always thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye for now